something like the attack in Paris happened here. Washington Post columnist and MSNBC analyst Eugene Robinson says it would have been much worse because of our nation's gun laws. Take a listen. One thing that's different here is weapons are universally available. And so, uh, I mean, it is actually a very good thing that, that, that the tensions are not exactly the same because we, we would expect to have a lot more of that sort of carnage here. So more carnage. Is that really the case? Here to debate is WTTG's chief investigative reporter, Emily Miller, and radio sh uh, talk show host, Richard Fowler. Emily, do you agree with Eugene's comments? Something tells me no. <laughs> Just a little thing. I mean, first of all, it's factually incorrect to say that civilian arms, uh, civilian ownership of guns is going to lead to more deaths. In fact, it would have probably stopped that crime or at least slowed down the number of journalists that were slaughtered in Paris. Um, but it's also just has no common sense. And there have been numerous, numerous times when concealed carry holders in the country, in, in America have stopped any kinds of crimes, but much less multiple public mass shootings like this, and much less terrorist shootings, not yet. But that's why the terrorists don't come here, is because the civilians' ownership. They come here and they bomb us, unfortunately, which is horrible, but they're not coming here with guns because Americans can shoot back. So it's just, it's just wrong on so many levels. R uh, Richard, you agree with Eugene's comments? It would have been worse here. We just have simply more guns, more carnage would have unfolded. Well, listen, I think what Eugene was trying to say here is, number one, the only way that you can fight terrorism is by continuing to live and continuing to live out our Constitution. But with that being said, there has to be some limits to the amounts of guns we have. And I think the argument he's trying to make is when you have folks who can buy enough weapons to blow up the Taliban right here in the United States, we have a huge problem. I think you take an example of what happened in New Newtown at Sandy Hook Elementary. Those students died because that individual got his hands on a gun. And we've got to do everything in our power to make sure that the right people have guns and not the wrong people have guns. And how we do that is limiting the number of guns on the street and making sure we have the right gun safety laws in place so that those individuals can't get guns. Well, Richard, the, France has the most extreme gun control laws. In fact, their poor police aren't even armed. It was horrific to watch. And how did that work out for them? Not so well. But less well. individuals Here, the, the died. The civilian ownership in the United States is at the highest rates it has ever been. And our violent crime rate continues to decrease every year, according to the FBI statistics. So it but, is just patently false, and it's just an emotional conversation to say that more guns lead to more crime. It's just wrong. Well, Richard, what if, the, what if those newspapermen had the ability to pull out a gun, uh, go to the safe while this carnage was unfolding and protect themselves? Well, here's the thing, Clayton, uh, and this is where I disagree fundamentally with Emily, is that this ideal that, you know, having guns will stop things, crimes from happening. Look at Sandy Hook. The security guard had a gun, yet still first graders died, second graders died. And we could have prevented that if Anza, Adam Lanza did not have access to a gun whatsoever. The reason why he had access to a gun is because of lack of gun safety laws in this country. Nobody is saying to strip, the, to strip the Constitution... Richard. There's nobody is saying to strip the Constitution of the Second Amendment. Nobody is saying that, that private gun owners shouldn't have the right to hold guns. What we're saying is we need to make sure we have stricter gun safety mechanisms in place so that individuals who are mentally ill, individuals who are former criminals, Richard, cannot get guns. And that means you have to Rich slow down straw purchases. You have to limit the high-capacity okay, magazines. It can go on and on. All the, first of all, all the laws you cite are in effect. In fact, in Connecticut, in Sandy Hook, they're in effect. It is against the law for someone who is criminally, dangerously, mentally ill to have guns. It is but he didn't, he didn't get the they gun in He didn't get the gun in Connecticut, if you remember them. correctly. He stole, he stole, he's a maniac and insane, you could buy dangerous these person types who should have been I, in a mental hospital. I agree hospital. with you, Emily, that he but is a maniac, how, but what you could buy this gun in Arizona, you could buy this gun in Florida. This debate continue. is about Islamic terrorists and whether the debate, whether they do more damage here. doesn't mean that we can't have good gun safety laws here in America. we got to end it there, guys, but the debate will continue. A great discussion this morning. Go to our Facebook page this morning and weigh in on this exact debate. Emily and Richard, we appreciate you on this heated discussion this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you, Clayton. Thank you.